Welcome back to the 85 South yes, Show. We got you. You know what time it is. I don't know if you know this, but this has been voted the number one show that black people have sex to after 2 o'clock in the morning. Yep. <laughs> that sounds good. I thought you were going to say 2 p.m. Yeah, that's my job. Every week I have to go out and find something that we number one at. Right. I have to do a lot of research online. Uh, I have to look in the almanac. Mm -hmm. Survey. People hitting me on email. Uh, then I type some shit up on the old school typewriter. <laughs> Mail it off. Right. Email it. Yeah. <laughs> Cold calls before nine o'clock. Right. Yeah. I do my part. <laughs> I do my part. You do? Yeah. So shit, we just gonna keep the street going. I, 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 I agree. This ain't your first time. But you in here giving us good game today. Yes, sir. Cap. And I'm actually proud of you guys, man. Thank you. Oh, before I, I we really even am. get to us, I'm we got to give them the intro to give you. I was just going to say, we got right, to. Right, man. And it's like, I feel like legend ain't heavy enough. <sighs> this one of them comedy icons, man. Like you said, back in them days, just when, you know, when that comic view meant something. At the height of it. Yeah, right. when, when it was when it was the best, when you didn't want to miss it. Thanks. And you know, coming to you when it first started, it used to be called BT Coast to Coast. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. So what they'll do, they will come in town with the cameras and tape you at a club and then take it back and edit it and show it on BET. See, mm -hmm. this is how it goes. And DL was the host back well, then. You, see, only you know this type of shit. Yeah. And that's why you, you, yeah. a comedy icon, one of the goats, if they made a Mount Rushmore comedy, man, you damn sure would be on it. You got it on Mount. Triple, triple OG. <laughs> yeah. Damn, mm. 35 years in the game. Yeah, I'm 31. Shit, he was doing comedy before you was yeah, protein, man. nigga. Before my daddy was fucking with my mama. Man, your daddy hadn't even ate the right <laughs> shit to make you yet. <laughs> 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 he wasn't <laughs> formulated yet. He talking about he eat the right shit. <laughs> yeah, you, you, nigga. Was a, you was an atom on a piece of bread somewhere when this nigga started. Yeah, man. But they none other, man. None other than the comedy legend. Yes, sir. Bruce Bruce, man. Yes, back Bruce. again. Yes, sir. Listen, man. I told you when you first came, don't let it be the last time, and here we are again. Yes, yes sir. sir. Already dropping good games. You know, last time we talked, you talked about Disco Duck and, you know, um, Comedian ain't Disco Doug. It was, it was so many great. It used Bro, to be I gotta thing. ask you about everybody, man. We've yeah. lost people since you That's was right, passing. Man. We lost Dirty South. Oh, Dirty South. Tyler Craig. Tyler yeah. Craig. Yeah, man. Oh, shit. Yeah, and you know, he used to be a comedian name. He used to come on, he had a little character. He'd say, Hello, my name is Larry D. Bill Jr. III. Mm -hmm. And that was his character he used on stage. Uh -huh. And he say, and he say, they say, I can't speak good. Right, that's how he talk. He said, yeah. I said, well, I said, he said, I'm working at McDonald's. I said, hello, welcome to McDonald's. Would that be for here or there? <laughs> <laughs> he was funny, you know what I mean? He had funny skit, but they, that's all they got. That's like, like I tell everybody, when these young cats, you're going you're gonna to do your social media, and you're going to do some things on social media, uh, you're going to do about five minutes. It's hilarious. But please have something else to give the people. Mm -hmm. Can't be mm -hmm. one dimensional. Mm -hmm. Because when, when these people come to see you, they want to see more than just that little skit you got. Yes, sir. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They want to see a bunch of them. Good they as that one that they already like, like, We're talking about 30 minutes straight. That's right. You got to have it, man. You got to have it. So how do you feel? Because, you know, I study the game. Like you said, I don't like to watch people because of I, you don't want to take nothing away. Right. I like to study how they formulated the joke. Mm -hmm. How they said the joke. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is their style of coming. I know, I had, and I had to realize, and the reason why I like to study is because I had to realize what type of comedian I was. Right. And I realized, okay, I'm raw. Yeah. I ain't, I ain't cleaning up. I ain't, you, you invite me to a church, right. it might be a damn or shit that may slip out. But oh. guess what? We gonna pray at the That's end. Right. We gonna pray at the we end. We gonna pray at the end. <laughs> but as long as you're comfortable with who you are. Right doing your com comedy, because that's how it's gonna be successful. Right. Now, if you're uncomfortable doing it, it's gonna look uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. They gonna see it's not real. But if you're real doing it, right. it's gonna come across just as smooth they as They can tell when it's, you know it's not you. Tell, man. Yeah. You know, I do churches all the time. You know, like the preachers, you know, they're back for you, yeah, I need you to come over and do the church. Mm -hmm. you know I say, well, all right, how much they paying? Do it for the Lord. I say, if I come to your church, I'm doing it for you. 
I'm already doing it for the Lord. Talk to your so talk. you better get this money, player. Yeah. Or you I would have said, man, you out your goddamn money. <laughs> 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 you got me fucked up, <laughs> real. But, you get, but look, you get the big churches, they don't do that. Right. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the big church, they say, well, they, they call it a love offering. Right. You know what I'm saying? You don't even know what you're going to get. I, I've been in church, they gave me a $20,000 check. Mm. You know I love that. So how yeah. do you stay... 20 balls. So how do you stay fresh? So when it comes to... We're living in a time now, social media speeds up the process of us actually the I'm talking about aging the fuck out. I know it, man. So it's like I right, we get a joke and he be like, ooh, we got time to practice, but you but they done put it on Facebook ten times. Oh, yeah. People done seen it before they actually came and see it in person. And then when they seen it in person, they love it. But it's like you can't take it with you the extra two, three years. I just say keep adding to the joke. Mm -hmm. Right. Just keep, keep punching it up. It. Yeah, just keep adding just to it. Just making it sound new and new. Because if I had social media thirty five years ago, shh, let me tell you. I had an answer machine and a voice company. I had to check my message. Hey, who called me? We didn't have, that's all we had, and radio. Right. You know what I'm saying? We did TV, we thought we was on top of things, man. Hell yeah. Yeah, you know? But They used to put your shit on the radio all the time. Oh yeah, man. yeah. yeah. So 97.5. Just, just keep adding to it, man. Jokes never die, just keep adding to it. It's like music. Mm -hmm. You can go see Frankie Beverly, you go see all these old cats. They still doing the same music, people still want to see it. Mm -hmm. It never dies. Sometimes they might do it a little different, they might tweak it, mm -hmm. but it's still the same. People, when it's good, it's good. Mm -hmm. And you ever notice people don't remember comedians that are in between. They always remember somebody really funny and somebody oh, that's really bad. bad. <laughs> they don't know the in between. The Who's in, it was the in between? The, shit, I don't know, I forgot his name, but the dude, the bomb, that motherfucker. That's one I, I want to talk to you about. Right. They remember that, right. you know, so. Well, what about the sets when, when you can tell that the crowd done heard it or the promoter's like, man, I'm tired of hearing that shit. I ain't booking that nigga no more. You keep saying that shit. If you somebody, like, if you, you told I heard your own jokes? No, nah, not my shit. Okay. I'm just saying, like, you, I just listen. Yeah. And some of the promoters be like, I ain't booking that motherfucker no more, man. Hold on, let me tell you, I, from my experience, and you could tell, you got been doing it twice as long yeah. as me. It don't matter if you're sh it's some comedians, they don't have no two sets. Right. Sometimes they can put the right shit on and dress that shit up mm -hmm. right. Every last one of them motherfuckers work like they brand new. Mm hmm Yeah. But sometimes they motherfuckers gonna eat the ground. Right. Yeah. It's all in about how they stand in that shit. Yeah. Right. Some motherfuckers ain't gonna get booked off. They don't get booked off talent. They get booked off they friends with these motherfuckers. Yeah. They don't, you gotta keep in mind, everybody don't have to do this shit. Like they done got this shit planned out. Where it's like, nigga, if I'm cool with six promoters and they give me three shows a piece, nigga, I'm working all year. Right. Every nigga ain't working every weekend. Some motherfuckers be like, shit, I take a show a month. But I, I work every weekend. You get what I'm saying? It's like some motherfuckers gonna flow past. Right. But some motherfuckers gonna really have to go get it. And all the right. comedy clubs I hit once a year. Mm -hmm. They be wanting me three times a year. But I, just, I do every comedy club once, once a year. year. Mm -hmm. And theaters I split it you know I might do like this first part of the year from January to May I'm doing all theaters mm -hmm. and then from on down I'm doing a lot of comedy clubs so that's how I split it up so I like to go back if I go in the city I like to wait at least eight to nine months before I go back Bruce what was your favorite city like when you first go, went up going on the road leaving that not Atlanta. including Atlanta not yeah Houston Texas Houston mm. Texas H time Houston Houston was the Houston a whole lot different you, right I'm now I'm gonna tell you another city you won't believe because most people don't believe when I say this but the start on in Birmingham but what yeah. that motherfucker off the chain start on in Birmingham is off the chain that man. bitch off the chain anyway Bruce, Alabama Bruce Ayers on it and he talked to you this close yep. you know Bruce I was <laughs> you know I was, I was working with Steve Hardy um, <laughs> Bruce, back up, player. Give me some space. Hey, I thought you finna talk, kiss me. I ain't gonna play that. You know, right. you know, but this club is out of sight. It's one of the best clubs in the world. Facts. And in the South, in Birmingham. You tell people that up north, they're like, Birmingham, bro. It's the way it's, it's some, set up. It's, it's like matches. a mini, mini theater, yeah. and it's levels mm -hmm. of people C5 just sitting there, and you can see it all. Alabama. You can see it. And the police do not fuck around. No, they don't. I feel like all Alabama. I feel like Alabama appreciate comedy. Yeah, they do. They do. And start on been there for fifty years, I think. Right. So that. Oh, yeah. so it's Definitely always, always been a start. And it got on the club. Guess where you from? What? New Jersey. From from, the, from up top. From went to went to school in the south and stayed there. And stayed there. Yeah. Yeah. That's a dope spot. And people nah, like yes. Birmingham, because you know, they think Birmingham is still red clay mud. That's some mansions oh, yeah. in Birmingham. Yes, Birmingham. They don't build Birmingham up. Yeah. Yes, it is.
He got some of that black pussy. I know what I know what yeah. Probably did. Yes, man. he did. Yeah, he I ain't going back up top. That shit make you wear your clothes different. <laughs> some of that, make way different. Some of that Magic City classic pussy. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. some of that shit From that school shit, over with. yeah. Be all discombobulated. But you know, it's other comedy clubs out there that are really good. Like the Funny Bones are good. Mm -hmm. The um, Improvs are good. Mm -hmm. I do all of them. Mm -hmm. um, sell them out. Um, I've did Houston comedy club. It was it was smaller before. Mm -hmm. It seated like three hundred people. Now it seats six hundred. Mm -hmm. And I done did like ten shows in that. Yeah, mm. In one week, I had went on a run at um, uh, I won't say the name of this particular brand of comedy clubs one time. What? You know how you book a few yeah, of them yeah. back to back to back. Do they have two comedy clubs? They got a bunch of them. Why you don't want to say the name, nigga? Uh, man, it's, I still be working in there. Okay. But I had one particular stop. What a nigga, the manager, you know how the manager sell the, do the settlement after you do the run uh -huh. and shit. Right. He tried to short me. Oh, that why you don't want to say. a whole lot of bread. I don't, I don't but this motherfucker that. was clearly a drug addict. And I was like, I can't believe y'all fucking got a whole drug addict running the club. Like, mm -hmm. this motherfucker was clearly on Man, that shit. this sound like a club in West Virginia. This motherfucker was clearly on that shit and right. tried to short me so he could buy the shit. I'm like, <laughs> so you buy the shit. Bro, I made them motherfuckers stay there all night calling motherfuckers to get my money. Let me let me tell you what That's happened crazy. to me one time. Years and years ago, he used to be a funny bone in Buckhead in Atlanta on oh, Peace Street, right where Peace Street and Roswell Road split. Where right. they put See, the punchline at? No, is that? no. Okay. it's right where they split, where they done built that new little Melrose shopping mall right there. You yep. know what I'm talking oh, about? Exactly what punchline. So I went up there in my Frito Lay truck, <laughs> and, and you had to Hustle. audition to do amateur night. Right. Oh. So. I, I went up there, shit like that. and I went up there to audition. So the lady called me in the office, big girl, looked like a Russian prostitute. She <laughs> said, oh. <laughs> she was crazy, <laughs> man. And she, she was round, you know, like, you know, like your aunt, you know, baked cakes and stuff. And um, she called me in the office. I'm thinking she's going to have me on stage. She calls me in the office and say, do me a minute and 33 seconds. I'm like, OK. I said, right here? She said, right here. I started doing comedy. She's on the computer. She's looking at her watch. She's on the computer. She's looking at her watch. She's trying to see, can I follow instructions? I did a minute and 33 seconds. She said, okay, you did good. You can come back night at 8 o'clock. I got out to the truck. I said, fuck this bitch. I ain't going back up to that club. So years later went by. I go do this club in Ohio, Dayton, Ohio. Mm -hmm. It was called, what was the club called? Because she, but it was, <laughs> I did this club. I walked in and I, and, um, did very well, and I seen this lady. I said, I know this bitch from somewhere, right? So when it was time to pay me, she told me, she said, I'm not gonna pay you till you get your phone number, because I'm, I'm, I'm attracted to big black guys. And I say, I happen to be a racist. I said, I do not <laughs> like white people at all. And, and she said, oh no, you, you're not racist, you're not racist. She said, I used to manage a funny bone in Atlanta. That when they clicked. I said, this this bitch that made me audition. It's really? like 15 years later. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't say, you know, I, I she said, you, you ever went to the front of all that? I said, never been there in my life. But she's the one that made me audition for it. <laughs> she still wanted that dick lane 15 years. Oh, she still wanted me to play that wood, too. I couldn't do it, man. <laughs> I couldn't do it, man. No, you she can't She wanted me to put a hump in my back so I can put a hump in her back. No, no, that's that's hilarious. I had to I'm go back and hit it again to get my hump back. You understand what I'm saying? I remember <laughs> me and Carlos did a show I ain't gonna say where it's at, cause we both go there to this day. See what I'm saying? Now we both go there, packed out all weekend. The way our deals were set up, it was just the way our deals were set up. Mm -hmm. But they was ecstatic because of all the money they made, right? Oh yeah. So he got his check and I got my check. And they made more money than us off food. Yes, they did. So I looked at Los, I said, Los, we tripping. I think it's time for us to up the ante because yes. we got it. We uh we just settled because this is what we were doing. But I was like, nah, we got to take control of our goddamn brand and our That's business. Right. That's right. We can't go for the deal that we just been going through 
the past six months. We got to come in here and it damn near about time for you to go on about your, your way and I got to go on by my way. We were doing it together, but it was like, we need more than this. Yes, and we do. need to have a bigger percentage and this is what we need to do. And ever since that day. Yep, froze their ass out. Totally. But this is what you got to do. Everything, you remember this, whatever the door do, the food and drinks is going to double it. Right. I, I was at one club. Because two item member. Yeah, I, I, I was at one club, and uh, the guy was getting ready to pay me, and he was on the computer. He said, I'll be right back, and I looked at the computer. Mm-hmm, <laughs> real nigga. The door made 78000 Oh. Food and drinks was 190000 So Whoa. something's wrong with that picture. I'm like, what the hell? Am I getting pimped like a mother? Yes. Yeah. I was getting pimped. Oh, yeah, you got pimped. <laughs> but when I came back the next time, though. Yeah, I need all pimped. mine. Got to have it. We got to talk different. Bull City, hey, North Carolina. You know what's happening? July 15th. Coming to the city, man. Girl performing our awesome. seven. What Chico said, he knows that he be up there. You no, know what I'm saying? Bull City. Y'all love it. Get your tickets. Y'all. Yeah, you already you know, know what it is. Do this. Do this. That ain't it. That ain't it. Do this. Do this. Do this. That's the Bull City right there. That Bull City. That's the Bull City. Bull yeah, city. we coming. July 15th. North Carolina, oh, come on and raise. Nah, they don't like that. <laughs> July 15th, Durham, North Carolina, Bull City. Durham performing our center. Trust don't do that shit, no people live there. But, but, but they don't like that no more. It's like, no, it's over. It's over. It's over. Like, it's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's the state, North Carolina. Where are you going, man? You should have sung Fantasia. That would have probably been better. What? You don't want me, then I'll talk to me. July 15th. I already know. No, put it in there. Come on, tell them to come to the show July 15th so they don't think we like it. Y'all better show up to that show July 15th. Okay, <laughs> Who knew her voice sounded like that? I know, right? Uh, you see what she said? July 15th, Durham, North Carolina. July 15th, North Carolina. Come see these boys. Yeah. North Carolina. You heard what she said, Durham, North Carolina? North Carolina. She, left, she ain't say which new. one, but it's North. North. North Carolina. There you go. You did it. Come on, get your Have a drink. I'm not getting <laughs> Hey, what's up, Chicago? It's your man, Carlos Miller, July the 21st. I will be in the city. Pull up on me, man. You know I'm going to be at the Riviera Theater, man. If you didn't go to church today, don't worry. We got you. It's the blessings that's going to come through here, too. <laughs> church ain't number three or more people. Anybody ever been know that? Don't block your blessing in here. It might not be, the, it might not be your church blessing. It might be like your hood blessing. <laughs> I done caught a hood blessing before. Like when you driving home and you see the police behind you for a little bit, then they hit the light and just scoot on beside you. Yeah, yeah, that's a good old blessing right there. So you know, put your little clean outfit on, make sure your lady looking good and pull up on your folks, man. We're gonna have a good time. We're talking good in Chicago. That's July the 21st. Come check up on me. We're gonna be cleaner than a mug in there. Come see me. At the end of the day, I'm on tour, so just make sure you get the tickets and holler at me and, you know, just come have a good time. I'll see you when I get there. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And y'all know, Orlando, we owe y'all, so we coming back in a big way. August 10th, Poor Minds is coming to Orlando for our live show. Yes, we coming to Orlando Improv. I cannot wait to see all of y'all faces. You know, unfortunately, we had to reschedule these mm -hmm. days. So I'm super excited to come out and see y'all. Doors open at 7. Yes, and the show starts at 8, and we back bigger than yeah. ever. Let me tell y'all, y'all should be happy because this show, this round, is super lit. So Orlando, August 10th. Doors open at 7. Show starts at 8. Orlando Improv. We'll see y'all and we outside, Buki. Period. Put it on, because we coming. But see, that's why, that's why when they say, get the dough, we'll take, we'll take care of the food, because they know for a fact, if you keep them sitting down, mm -hmm. they going to eat, drink, drink all night over long. Over and over again. All night long. I sold out. You had the you had the most chicken soul in uh in Pleasanton. Yeah. I beat you by a pound. By a pound. <laughs> Let me tell you this. You ever heard a comedian named James Gregory? Yes. He's a white dude. Real southern. And he tell you, you know, he talked like this. It was two old brothers, you know. And then, you know, they had never been to the city, you know. When he do the star, he only do 
the southeast comedy clubs. They don't even know him up north. But when he go to the start of him, he do the whole month. Mm. He do all four weeks. When he go to Tennessee, he do all, he do once a month, he said, they have to bring a Budweiser truck, 18 wheeler, and park it in the parking lot. Can they run through cases, that shit? 100,000 cases. They say they, they don't sell much liquor, but they sell a lot of <laughs> beer. Them good old boys been there, god damn, he's funny the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? But he is, his name is James Gregory. He done got up in age now, but he's still funny, man. That's but he do every, all the clubs in the South. And he do one, he do one club a month. Make a hundred thousand a month. Man, you was on uh you probably you remember you was on coming to the stage too. Yes, you I run, host that show. Yeah. I host and coming you, to the stage. You, you know when I fought with you the extra hard, you check Master P about that shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He when he was talking about, I don't want to do Bruce Bruce yeah, hit it. Yeah, I don't want to Bruce Bruce hit it. I said, because you can't do nothing with it after Bruce Bruce hit it. <laughs> what yeah. you talking about? You know what I'm saying? You yeah. can pop your shit, man. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm scared he's going to beat me up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> what I, you reminded his ass. Yeah, I didn't let him know. Yeah, I throw his karate on your ass, nigga. I've been practicing this shit for three days. I'll fuck him up. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, ATL, we from the ATL. Right. We, we show love to everybody. Music, that's how we are. People. Right. You know, he asked me, man, how y'all, how y'all do such? I said, man, we show love in the ATL. When, 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 um, Too Short made all the skinny girl let Bruce Bruce hit. Yes, sir. And then Yin Yang came back, said, get crunk with it, get loose with mm -hmm. it. Like Short said, let Bruce Bruce, Bruce, Bruce hit. Yes, Everybody always show love. Name, Biggie staple put, in the Biggie, rap game. Biggie put me in a song. I was uh, <clears throat> in Jacksonville, Florida. And there's a club called Club Carousel. It's closed now. Mm -hmm. And I had to open up for Big. I never met him. I was on stage, Johnny, man. He was fun. And he put me in the song Hypnotize. What? And it said, Bruce Bruce, who, uh, it said, Bruce Bruce, who do something to us, talk goes through us. Mm -hmm. Girls want to do us, screw us. Who? Me, Poppy, and Puff. So and, he, and he told me, he said, I'm going to put you in my shit for real, you know. <sighs> Man, you finna make a nigga yeah. go back and listen to that you know, shit, he said, man. Yeah, he said, yeah, he said I'm, I'm yeah. saying that, but I it never would have. Bruce, who do something to us, talk goes to us. But I never would put two and two yeah. together. Yeah. So it's always love, man, and that's that's what it's all about. It's showing love. You ain't gotta be no fool, but if you can help a person, bro, that man. dope is a motherfucker. Yeah, you've been 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 rap for a long time. Let man. me tell you something, man. Mike Epps, my my right hand man. Mike called me here and left Atlanta and moved to New York. He said, man, they want me to audition for Fridays. I said, what are you waiting on? Mm -hmm. And he said, man, I don't know. I said, man, they're looking for somebody like you. He called me a week later. He said, guess what? I said, you got the part. He got the part and he took off like a rocket. Gone. Gone. You just need that push sometimes, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And let people know you believe in them, man, and, and, and encourage them, because don't hate. Yeah, you wasn't never on that type of never, shit. You never, out, never. like a real OG, even though you were oh, slick yeah, young I'm in the shit cool, yourself. I'm cool. You ever notice you never heard anything about me in the I media. can honestly say Facts. that. I ain't, never. Never. I ain't never heard nothing bad. You ain't going to hear nothing. I don't play that, man. <laughs> I don't want everybody in my beat. You think I be on Love and Hip Hop, they talking about me? Man, I fight everybody on that show. Yeah. Fuck you talking about. You know what I'm saying? Football tackle four niggas. Boy. Fuck you talking about. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? But you know, you just, you can stay clean and make money. Yeah, because you brought up, no, nah, he'll bring up, but yeah. I'm saying, it always was solid shit when they talk about you. Dirty South, I took her to the Bahamas. She, she was on the road with me. Oh, well, man, I know. Shorty. She, man, how shorty, she was shorty. in the Bahamas. Bro. Crazy. <laughs> yeah. dirty, dirty South weighed about 92 pounds back in the day. She was going to take her leg and put it all the way up, just hold it up in there like that. Weighed about 92 pounds. Shawty, shawty. They thought they were brothers and sisters. People thought they were brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. But they look at them now. They're making a living. They're doing, they doing great things, man. Yeah. And um, I'm proud of them. You a pioneer, man. Pioneer, oh, man. man. You know, I, like you guys, man. I'm proud of you guys. I appreciate it. They told me, hey, won't you come on the show? Y'all don't know. I was here at 8 in the morning. But they told me that. <laughs> 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 I'm sitting there five. Like, they said, no, no, 8 in the night. I said, okay, I'm going to be there, man. Because I, I love this type of thing. I like to see people win. Right. It's all about winning. And that's what comedians got to understand about comic clubs. You see him brag, but if you're not selling tickets, you can't put asses in the seat. The people are not making money. Mm -hmm. You need to make money, and then you can come back and do it again next year. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Just do it next year. But everybody, they, the people are so arrogant and thinking they all that, and you can't sell your 42 tickets. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. You gotta sell it out, man. Get down. Can't give away for it. No, you have to, they have to pay for the room, 
they got to pay for the room and then they got to make the money off the food and drinks. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you came from an era when motherfucker wasn't sharing the stage, oh, wasn't no. doing, what? Putting a nigga on. Mm-mm. Wasn't doing nothing. I seen, I see dudes that go in front of you and, and do too much time on purpose. So you can't you, do you know what I'm saying? Shit. So you can't do your stuff. You know what I mean? Yeah. And that's not the way you do it. That ain't do your cool. Thing, get it? No, that ain't cool, man. I had one show, man, I was doing, man. I was in Florida and uh, dude was supposed to do um, like tw- 25 minutes. He on the hour and 10. Mm. So I asked the promoter, I said, man, you gonna get your ball stay? Oh, bro, bro, back here scared because he ripping. I said, hey, man, <laughs> let me tell you something from a business standpoint. The fuck? This is a union theater. Yeah. This show got to be over 11 o'clock. By a certain time. <clears throat> so when I came off, I say, when he came off stage, I said, since I'm scared, you already done paid me. Do you want me to do the 17 minutes he left me to do? Or you want me to do the 45 minutes you paid me to do? Because, see, when you go over 11 o'clock, they charge the promoter five hundred dollars a minute mm-hmm. every time you go over. And he that said, would have been on him. He said, do the 17 minutes. I said, I can hear you. Right. Do the 17 minutes. I would have did 45 just for sure. Mm-hmm. I'm right. scared, player. Drop and the mic. Yeah. Nigga, Bill would have been yeah, 500000 But see, the, the, the people, the people mad at me because they feel I they need cheated, they, they, right. We came you know to see Bruce Bruce. Yeah, right. Absolutely. But see, that's the thing. You got a name with like back when comedy was coming up. Like if you hear your name, oh yeah. Bruce Bruce gonna be like right. they going. Right. Like going you certain right. people, you know, you gotta tell what they been in. Like right. uh, yeah. well, who you it know, is? such and such on yeah. who it at? Man, anybody gonna see that? Yeah. Pussy yeah. Well, Bruce, right. yeah, Bruce Bruce. Well, I you have know. fun. I have fun on stage, man. I really do, man. I enjoy watching you as a youngin. As a youngin who didn't understand half the shit that y'all was saying. And then some of the stuff I did, you gotta understand, I'm nine, 10, watching yeah. Comet View, and I'm like, these motherfuckers having fun on stage. Oh, Every yeah, time man. y'all was on stage, and you were the best, you were the best host. Well, you know, and they paid me better than anybody. They, um. <laughs> <laughs> Pop that shit, man. Pop it, OG. Pop it, OG. A lot of them, a lot of them that hosted, they gave them like $50,000, and when I came in, I had the right people on my team. They gave me a hundred thousand. Hundred balls. Wait a minute, a hundred thousand for my clothes. To have clothes made. They paid me half a million. Mm. 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 You understand what I'm saying? Mm. So what I did, I made sure everybody that was on my team working with me, I made sure they was taken care of. Cause see, as long as you you give, give, it's gonna come back. You you, mm. you cannot beat God giving. The more you get in here, the more he'll give back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You can't do that 35 years when you ain't uh-huh. did the shit I'm the right you, way. That's right, man. <laughs> so you gotta take care of your people. You cannot have Carlos and DC doing it and then not pay them and then think they still supposed to be cool. There ain't nobody cool with that. Mm-mm. Pay the man, keep it moving. You're gonna get it back. Fact. Excuse me, Bruce. How was you able to structure How do you see life? him? How do you see him? He can hear. Huh? He can hear. What, like I said, I had the right people on my team, so they called <laughs> white people, you know what I'm saying? Right. And uh, they made sure, I had $100,000 just for my clothes. I was having suits made. And Wayne that's what Gators. them niggas was getting paid. And you know, and then that's his they job. paid me a half a meal to do comedy view. But I went down, the way we did it, we was in New Orleans, and um, we was there for 30 days. I did five shows a day of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I was off Monday and Tuesday. And I had my man, Ronaldo Ray, who was really coaching me, like a mentor, mm-hmm. showing me everything. And then they came back. It was the next year in Miami called the Caliente. And they had mm-hmm. Arnaz J hosting. Mm-hmm. But they called me back to help him. Mm. So once again, you're on TV. Yeah. Now, material is being shown on television. That's right. And like you said, you're doing five shows. A day, day. This is a lot of being funny. I'm talking about as a professional, yeah. not knowing what you're going through in life, mm-hmm. but you got to go on stage and handle your business. That's right. Now, with this material that you're saying, you know what? Y'all can have. Yeah, because I still got the material on DVD right now. Everything I did on BT, I got all that material mm-hmm. that I did. And I was just doing stuff that was on the news, you know. Current just, events, just crowd work type Just like shit. I do a joke now on President Biden and how he fell back and the lady called him. Mm-hmm. But it, it really didn't happen. I made the shit up. Like, mm-hmm. I, I say, he fell back real slow. The lady called me and said, thank you very much. And, and then Donald Trump said, I wish my wife was here. And he didn't realize she was sitting right there. 
He's like, "Who's my wife is here?" I said, "The bitch is right there." Right. And he don't even see him, so I just made he up stupid down, stuff like that. Yeah. He was like, "No, my other wife." Oh. <laughs> yeah, he don't give a damn. <laughs> he don't give a fuck. For real wife. Yeah. <laughs> Not this motherfucker. And, and I mean Donald Trump, man. He just they believe everything he say. Man. Yeah. When he said "Make America Great Again," but them. Oh, they ate that people up. People ain't voted in fifty years. Came out and, and voted for him. But you know. That's the, way, that's the way we live in. Somebody in traffic today, they still got the Trump and Pence stick on oh, their yeah. I'm like, bro, oh, yeah. they don't take that shit off, man. He's what? such a bullshit that he didn't convince it. Don't everybody, all the white people in America, that he helped everybody. Mm -hmm. And why you fuck with Trump? He's the only person that can help the blacks. And they believe that. <laughs> hey, especially when he gave that goddamn, uh, the little, the, 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 what the, the, when they were, they the PPP. Little, yeah, when he sent that money through. I like Trump ain't bad as them niggas making shit. Pull out their mind they got that PPP, man. That PPP have ruined a lot of people. I, see, I seen this girl in the Waffle House in Fayetteville, uh -huh. and uh, she, Wait, she, came, she came over to the table, and she was walking real slow. I said, what's wrong with you? She said, I just went down to Miami and got my breast done and my stomach and my booty done. To come said, back and I, work I, at Waffle House? I say, no, she was eating in there. Oh. And I say, where you get the money? She said, the PPP. I said, can you count for that money that you got? She said, well, I said, well, you going to be the finest bitch in jail. I said, because <laughs> you don't got your whole body fit and you don't got six million? <laughs> God, <laughs> the doctor's still laughing at that bitch. That she bitch went playing. Stomach done, everything, ass done. See me? She, she going to be in jail fine as a motherfucker. You and know, my people like, Bruce, you know, you can get the money. You don't have to pay this back. You know? No, I don't yeah. want it. I don't want it. You don't. I don't want it. It's a they certain gave amount. my dumb ass cousin some money. Well, you, it's a certain amount. You yeah, know, he ain't. He ain't. thousand need. less, they don't bother. Come on, man. July 16th, man. You know what time it is. QC, man. Queen City, yeah. Charlotte, North Carolina. We coming to the Bojangles Arena. Yeah. With the Bojangles Biscuits. See how excited she was? That's how excited y'all better be. <laughs> July 16th, we come to the QC. Come to the show. July 16th, come to the show. Come on now. <laughs> You gotta walk away from the game. Yeah, see that? See that type of thing? Like working on some things. QC, Charlotte, July 16th, Bojangles Arena. Come to the show. Oh, shit, my baby. She gonna be throwing dreads. <laughs> 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 she gonna be throwing dreads, twisting the fog glass. If you want your dreads, twist it. July 16th, she gonna do them for you. At a discounted price, if you get your ticket today, you buy a show, baby. Smell like incense, no cap. She smell like cocoa butter made from scratch. And we're not selling it July 16th in Charlotte, North Carolina at the Bojack Ranch. Show Liz. Show Liz. Go get your ticket. Come on in here, ma'am. This is a third grade teacher. And she will be giving out books July 16th in Charlotte, North Carolina. Get your ticket. Books for the kids. Hey, what's up, San Antonio? July the 28th. I'm gonna be down there at the Empire Theater. Don't let nobody tell you no different. If you didn't go to church today, don't worry, we got you. It's the blessings that's gonna come through here too. Church ain't number three or more people. Anybody ever been know that? Don't block your blessing in here. It might not be the, it might not be your church blessing, it might be like your hood blessing. Aaron had done called a hood blessing before. Like when you're driving home and you see the police behind you for a little bit, then they hit the light and just scoot on beside you. Yeah, yeah, that's a good old blessing right there. This everybody in San Antonio, man, pull up on me July 28th. You already know. I don't get to come to San Antonio often. But when I do, I'm in San Antonio. And I'll come see you when you come see me. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Dre Nicole. And Miami, we coming to turn up. I'm excited. I'm excited, too. We've been long overdue for a Miami show, mm -hmm. and I can't wait to see y'all. It's the perfect way to kind of, I guess, end the summer, because the summer going to almost be over. And it's like... But August 13th, yeah. we're going to be in Miami, Miami Improv. Show doors open at 7 show starts at 8. Yes, and I'm telling y'all, look, this is right before my birthday, too, so y'all know I'm finna be lit. And turning so that, ooh, we, I'm finna, I'm finna put it on for Miami. I'm telling y'all, listen, August 13th, doors open at 7, 
Show starts at 8. Miami Improv. Y'all, please do not miss this show. Y'all know we're going to have people popping up, rolling up on us. Miami, it's going to be fun. Welcome to Miami. Period. Miami. So I'm Miami. Yes, you know. See y'all. What the old people used to say? Be there or be queer? Well, we'll see if they're getting jiggy with it. All right. He ain't even asked for enough. What he got, Lo? This stupid motherfucker talking about, oh, hey, I'm finna bust they ass. <laughs> shit. Cause what you get him for? Man, you ain't gonna believe this shit. <laughs> Man, I got no folk for 2200. I like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga shit won't be red flagged at all. Oh, <laughs> that nigga ain't that nigga ain't that nigga employee. I want to find You can't tell wanna, that nigga he ain't hey win on that one. I want to find him and give him 2200 more. <laughs> That's crazy, you bro. You believe that though, Nick Wayne? Like you feel that all that paper. I'm scared of PPP. I ain't want it. I told them for I was straight during the pandemic. No man's a lot of questions. What's 2200? All my series is, is, is in the refrigerator. I don't want none of that PPP so money. He got him, dude. He got him. I, I don't into, need help. That's what I had to tell him. Even though I needed help, I don't need it. You know, we were talking about earlier how things go around and everything. When I was a young man, I was managing a restaurant. I told it was a barbecue restaurant in Cobb County. Mm -hmm. So I got robbed. Dude walked in and said, all right. Y'all know what it is, you know what I'm saying? He robbed everybody in the restaurant who was sitting there. He said, what the manager? They say, he in the office. <laughs> so I'm in the office, I'm in there. And uh, the way I had the safe set up, I can turn the knob all the way to the left and open the safe. But if I turn it to the right, it lock it. So I had to reopen it. So I got nervous, I turned it to the right. I said, hey man, I said, I'm trying to open the safe, man. Give me the money, nigga, I'm gonna kill you. You know what I'm saying? I said, look, man, I got some kids, man. No kid, man. I said, I just, I gave him the money, man. He left out the door. Man, I seen this. Nigga in Kroger, 30 years later, in Cascade. I said, hey, nigga, you robbed me. Uh, <laughs> he said, man, I was on that shit bad, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was on that shit bad. Man. Nigga, I mean, the night. Right. He said, man, I wasn't gonna kill you. I told you I was gonna kill you. I was on that shit bad. <laughs> and he, it was really him. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Rob shit out of you. You don't forget him, no. man. man, that joke took about, I think I had to say about, Eight hundred dollars. He took all of it. Took the air. I, I was in Kroger. I was at the produce. I said, "Nigga, you robbed me like that." You was in produce. Yeah, man. I was on this shit, man. Was, <laughs> Is I'm he still, doing better, boy? He's still doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> He probably gonna rob your ass again. No, yo, no he was seeing Jesus that day. You yeah. understand? Fuck you yeah. He was seeing Jesus. Fuck you so right. I keep the pills. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. He ain't going out bad. He would touch the hem of his garment. You understand? Yeah, I'm talking about. That? Yeah. He probably he ain't got wrong about it, man. Talk to somebody. But you know, the, Me the Mexicans got a hustle now, man. What is it? They, 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 don't, they stand on the road with a poster. And they had a wife and a kid. And the kid, yeah. Mm -hmm. And they say, we need to pay our rent. And they're like, God damn. They done caught me like four times already. I'm Honestly, like, I gave money to them. Right, the kids out here, man, go on get the hundred dollars. That's what I don't be wanting to see. Man. Like, don't bring them kids man, into it. Don't be like kids. <laughs> Them are grown folks. Because <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Off, yeah. off Jonesboro Road. They grown boys. They bro, grown little I people. I caught them on break. That little dude was smoking a cigarette in the air. <laughs> <laughs> we make it work. <laughs> do, do, you know, do you know? Do you know? They don't even have a job, but they're going to stand at home and be for the other He's talking about we make it work. Oh, shit. <laughs> what, what face they make, Lo? <laughs> Hey, my friend, my friend, how you doing, my Bro, friend? Bro, they be out there doing school hours. Don't tell me those are my kids, them little bit of people. Them <laughs> people. Oh, shit. God damn. That's what we gave me 30 minutes today. Yeah, man. Hey, man, that's what we gave me 30 minutes today. Why that's part of every time I see their ass, I'll be like, hold it. <laughs> that's a little bitty person. Boy, that ain't gonna be sure you are. Boy, that ain't. Little bitty boy, man. Bro, I be feeling sorry as fuck, bro. Them kids, yeah. they be having them kids sitting on them cardboard boxes and shit. Hey, man, that, that poster be perfect. Have y'all ever read the poster? Yes. I mean, they be perfect. Who wrote this book? It's I mean, in English, though. It's like they did it. Yeah. Like they but the they can't speak no English, but the whole poster <laughs> in English. So like, it's like, it's like, they just put it inside. When you ask them. And it's like they went to the Kiko's Hey, man. It's like they went to Kiko's copier and had that poster. What? Somebody that selling them saying, man. <laughs> read this <laughs> Simon, Simon. Nobody funny, man. But it, but it's got to be 
something to it because they had that all the time. They getting some money. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about in different locations, but yeah. same street. You same like, street. what you? You know, I want to do it. I want to do, 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 do it for real. I want to do. I want to get a poster and come out there. And go out there. I just want to see. They ain't gonna, gonna believe you. They gonna know you. They gonna know you. Bro. Bro. Oh, oh, okay. You gotta I have a good guy. How it work? I want to see what it works. How my money That should be funny. That'd man. be funny. That's some good ass content. I ain't gonna lie though. I ain't. I ain't never gave nobody no money who had a dog. All, all the boys got a dog. Well, nah. I know that dog be like, how I the mean, fuck I get with this nigga? Hey, I, 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 <laughs> no I, I had a place in L.A. for 28 years. Every bomb I know had a dog up there. No. Every one of them. One dude walked in at 7-Eleven, and I was in there. I thought we were finna get robbed. He said, everybody, throw your motherfucking hands in the air. <laughs> and wait, we'll make you get the dog. Get out of my goddamn store. Get out of my store. He would laugh like, but I had to give him five dollars. That shit was funny. You had a spot in Cali for 28 years? 28 years. That's money, man. Yeah, man. I had a place in, I had a place in, my first apartment was on, on Hollywood Boulevard between La Brea and Fairfax, and then I moved in the Grove right by the farmer's market between La Brea and Fairfax. Yeah. 28 years, man. Come on, man. Over there on Miracle Mile. Oh, man. I mean, well, you can funny, do what you want to do, man. You know, I got guys uh, that work for me. I got a guy been with me 22 years. The guy that used to be with me, he passed. He would have been with me 28 years. Uh, through the pandemic, I paid him every week for mm. two years. They was off for two years. I paid him because if I didn't pay him, they're going to be borrowing money from him. So I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You know I should have been on payroll. That better than PPG, yeah. though. Yeah. Got that. But I just want to make sure they taken care of, man. Nah, they but just do right by me. Yeah. You know, just do right by at me. At any moment, yeah. I can hit you up. I'm telling you, man. I'm right. telling you, man. I'm, I don't have no problem with no money, man. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, I took, you know, my, my Christmas, I took my family to on a cruise. Took 30 people. How you, you know do that? Because right now, I'm about to cancel the trip. <laughs> <laughs> I told I, them we I, were going. I said... <laughs> It's oh, hot. Hot. We going to Airbnb, baby. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we, went, we went on the cruise, and I took 30 people, and I took, I bought their plane tickets and everything. Now, in July, we're going to Disney World. Spirit of Disney. Disney World. I'm talking, no, about, we, I'm we talking about Spirit of, you had me no. up. Spirit of, Dick, Spirit of Delta. <laughs> no, we flew Delta, because I fly Delta. I'm a mm -hmm. 10 million mile with Delta. Talk your talk. And, and, um. We went right to the That nigga just dropped the shit like it don't mean nothing either. Yeah, like, yeah, right. So it wasn't no like package deal, cause I'm, no, I'm about to cancel this DC, motherfucking I pay, trip. I paid for everything for my family, my, my daughter and her husband, and my three of my grandkids. I got ten grandkids. Mm. And and, and um, my you wife. Yeah, eleven, cause I'm your uh, grandchild. That's it. <laughs> my wife and and uh, <clears throat> uh, her sister got six. Like that's my nephew right there. With the dread and you went on the trip too, nigga. Oh yeah. Now he couldn't go. He <laughs> he had he been bad. He still sad. Yeah, he got punished. Yeah, he got punished. He still sad now. by the shit. But that nigga was looking like that while you tell the story. <laughs> but now this is like July. We're going to this. I'm taking this because I'm doing things <laughs> in the family that we couldn't do. We couldn't afford to do. Right. You know what I'm saying? You remember when you couldn't go nowhere? Your mama said, "Well, we gotta stay at home." You, you, on the vacation you went on, y'all probably went to Griffin to your auntie house. <laughs> but that's the only you know vacation. Saying, you go to your grandma house. Everybody cooks some cheese. Cold spring <clears throat> break. Man, that ain't going out of town, man. My, my baby mama like, "What you gonna you do for the kids for spring yeah, I, break?" I, ain't gonna break. I, remember, I remember Six Flags was a dollar ninety-five cent to get in. Dollar ninety-five cent. The next year we went up to two ninety-five. My mama said they done lost their goddamn money. <laughs> A whole dollar. They ain't charging two ninety five to get in six flags. Man, she better not go nowhere hey, near now. Let me tell you something, man. Man, we live in an apartment in the bluff, paying forty five dollars a month, mm -hmm. right? My mama, her sister, my uncle, my mama, other so four grown people working. They went up twenty dollars on the rent. My uncle called a meeting. He said these crackers are lost their goddamn. <laughs> he said somebody gotta get a second job. He said, way in the hell we're gonna be able to pull a sixty five dollar And they was dead serious. I was standing at the table. I said, That's a lot of money. <laughs> Got them sixty five dollars like to kill them. <laughs> hey, hey, look. Hey, 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 Convertible 442, 455, power on the power, everything. Car note was $80 a month. Look, shit. Financed in two years. The insurance was $2 extra. My great auntie said, Boy, let me tell you something. 
You get behind, that's a hundred and sixty goddamn dollars. <laughs> like they lost that motherfucker twelve times. You know what I mean? <laughs> motherfucker ready to repossess it twelve times. Man, I'm talking about fully equipped. But the cut is now fair. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, like they lost it twelve times. See them old players didn't play. My granddad didn't play, man. Dark skin, he was black. Raw your blue eyes. I'm tall, he didn't play no games, son. My uncle went in the army. 1967. Came home, got green break, head turned sideways and shit. He gonna drive that cutlass. My, my granddad said, you can't drive that cutlass to you. Get some insurance. My granddad, my uncle said, I'm grown. My granddad said, I'll write that when you were born. He said, well, you ain't driving that car till you get some insurance. <laughs> my uncle said, I'm gonna drive it away. My granddad said, let me get through eating the potato pie then you tell me how you feel. So I'm thinking that my uncle gonna tear his ass up. He, just got out the army. Yeah. Man, my granddad had slugged them up through the yard like a lawnmower. No. In uniform. <laughs> in uniform. Marine. In uniform. <laughs> and then told him, go in the house and get you something to eat. He didn't drive that damn car. Right. <laughs> 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 Old school play. I'm talking about that now. He laughed and he screamed. Now. He about seven seven eight now. He laughed. He said, you remember that? I said, man, man my uncle was a trip. He had a wife, man. She about, I mean, 600 pounds easy. Uh -huh. He used to climb up in the tree and try to watch because he thought she would cheat. <laughs> My granddad said that big ass gal ain't finna go no <laughs> but to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> no good. Hey man, what's up? This man Carlos Miller. Oh shit, you know what time this boy DC on flip? Chico Bean. Hey. Going to make it, man. July 30th, huh? making Coliseum. Coliseum. That's right, the making Coliseum. We you gonna be, no, we gonna be making y'all laugh like a motherfucker. Fuck you tell me that. No, what I'm talking about. That was back. Get there early, because you know the traffic and making me crazy as hell when we come down there. So get them tickets. Hit the website. Pull up. And we'll see you in May. July 30th. Three headed monster tour. Get the tickets. Back town, you know what's happening? What's up, Sam? What's up, Sabaz? What's up, Sabaz? Y'all had a great show, man. Thank you, boy. Love. Hey, man. I appreciate y'all, boy. Love, Pastor. You shit. Well, I don't know. Somebody you made me yawn, ugly ass nigga. Hey, what's up? Houston, Texas, July 29th. Your man, Carlos Miller. That's right. I'm coming down there. Where am I going to be at, Craig? The Cullen Performance Hall. The Cullen Performance Hall. Make sure you grab those tickets and pull up on me. If you didn't go to church today, don't worry. We got you. It's the blessings that's going to come through here, too. <laughs> church ain't number three or more people. Anybody ever been know that? Don't block your blessing in here. It might not be, the, it might not be your church blessing. It might be like your hood blessing. <laughs> Every nigga here done caught a hood blessing before. Like when you driving home up and you see the police behind you for a little bit. Then they hit the light and just scoot on beside you. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good old blessing right there. Because at the end of the day, I'm on tour. And I'll come see you when you come see me. That one you said was short, but that my old uncle taught me how to cook. Hey, tell him how your uncle used to be with the. Uh, he was short, man. He, yeah. was, he was he was he was five feet tall and a ninety-eight in the waist. Right. <laughs> look like look like an egg with a belt. That motherfucker. Yeah, damn. That yeah. mother told me one day, don't don't make me take that belt off and beat your ass. I'm thinking to myself, shit, I could be in the middle of the yard by the time you get that. <laughs> Pulling that motherfucker. <laughs> 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 that motherfucker.
still hit me in the yard. I said, God damn, how long is that belt? That belt is fucking amazing. Real talk. Amazing, bro. That's why it's very important, like, if you do have nieces and nephews, right. and stay in their life, man, because mm. it's so easy to get sidetracked with mm. this street shit. And I'm going to tell you, they build a jails every day to lock them up. Mm -hmm. Jail ain't no place for me. Mm. I got my ex-wife had me locked up, man. I was in there five days. <clears> there. <throat> it was a joke in there playing bass guitar like he boosted college. <laughs> I said, how long you been here? About eight months, I got up, moved to the other guy that side. I didn't want to sit by this motherfucker. <laughs> you too comfortable in here. Right. But it's talented people in jail. Mm. But you don't need to be in jail. I'm going to tell you, man, I knew everybody there. Everybody that was working in jail, I went to school with them. Mm -hmm. What you doing here? She had me locked up. Give me the bitch number. You know what I'm saying? They called. But it was, they was bringing some guys in. And there was a young dude. Man. He was young. He was crying. And I walked beside him. I didn't even look at him. I walked beside him. I said, look here, man. I said, I don't know what you're here for. And I said, I don't care. I said, but you need to dry them tears up. I said, they see any sign of weakness, they're going to get you. I said, tighten up. Wipe your face. Tight, dry your tears. Keep it moving. He said, all right. He walked up. End up seeing him. End up seeing him. He thanked me for that. He don't joke in jail. They see you crying, you know. Oh, yeah. They think you weak, man. I'm, oh, yeah. They're going to take I'm, the trade. I want to go downstairs with a girl. You know, I knew all the girls. I said, take me where the women at. He said, I let you go in there. Well, man, them girls will rape me in there, man. <laughs> yeah, they will. They will. Damn, boy. Jail ain't for nobody, man. Nah, not for no real player. Nah, not for no real player, man. It's too much money out here to be made. Man. Yeah. Financial literacy, though, man. How you do it, man? He's got it, man. I don't blow money. I just, you know, I, I make sure I take care of my family. I take care of bills, and I just, my wife always say, why you got so many cars? I say, well, you got so many shoes. Mm. Well, you ain't buying them motherfuckers. I'm buying them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Talk your shot. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying. Right. So, as long as ain't nothing lacking at home, yeah. you shut the fuck up. Right. <laughs> shut the fuck up. I don't lack, man. I right. get down. See, I grew up not having nothing, so when you get something, you got to really hold on to it. Mm -hmm. You know, you got to take care of yourself. You ever getting people called car so filthy, they're like, have you ever ran by a car wash in this motherfucker? Right. Or when you get gas, can you throw the shit in the trash at the gas station? Man, that's how women to keep oh their car, God, though. Man. They it's, don't it's, give a fuck. It's crazy, man. And let right. the kids do what it, I don't tell them too much of my yeah, brother. Yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling my brother. Hey, man, let me tell you something. Up, she fucked around and got personal. Man, I'm yeah. looking, I'm like, bro, tell them to throw the Chick-fil-A shit away. You know that coochie bad. But, but you got to, you got to teach your children. See, my uncle taught me how to cook. My mom, my other aunt taught me how to clean up. My other aunt taught me how to wash clothes. My mama taught me how to keep my ass clean. Mm -hmm. She said, no, no one want no stinking ass man. Facts. Man, I was in there taking a shower. My mom ran there, hold on, let me show you how to wash your ass. I said, mama, wait a minute now. I'm 17. You ain't gonna do that. <laughs> two rags or one? Two, two, one big ass towel. Woo! Look, look, dick just slang. Look, 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 I use one, my boy. I use one, too. I just found out I you got to use two, though. No, I, I get that in and I clean it back out. <laughs> Shit. I, I just found out you got to use two. Did, did y'all see, see on social media, this lady was 42, 43, and she started dating a boy that was 21. And in, in 2015, then in 2017, they had a child. And then in 2019, they had a child. And she finally realized the dude that she was dating was the son she put up for adoption. No. She was fucking her own son. Found out at the last minute. They got two kids together. So he the daddy brother. Uh-huh. Or a dunkle. He the, he, the, he, the, he the brother. Oh, he a dunkle. He the brother. He a brody. <laughs> a brody. Hey, bratty. <laughs> That's my bratty. <laughs> yeah, he better cut this shit up. He gonna end up being his own granddad. <laughs> <laughs> he is already. If he done had a son. And, and they hit little brother. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck the world we living in, man. White people been doing man. that shit. It is, man. So you say you about to do the special. Yeah, I'm going to do it later this year, man, because I definitely want to come back and let you and push it. But I'm going to do it. It's going to be me. It's going to be mine. I'm creating it. Um, Talk it. Um, Time for it. You know, did, you know did a special before. I did it since um, in 13 years. My mother died in, in uh, 13 years ago, and I dedicated Sorry, to her. I don't know if y'all remember that, but I dedicated it to my mom. Right. But let me tell you what's crazy. My mother passed on a Monday. No, she passed on a Wednesday, but 
I had her funeral on a Monday. I had to film my show that Friday. Mm. Mm -hmm. But I had to give it to him though. Mm -hmm. I gave it to him in Boston. Some things you just got to do. You got to push gotta your way through, man. You got to yeah. keep pushing, man. People don't know the comedians are the most traumatized people. Mm -hmm. We just got to find a way to laugh at our pain yeah, because we to. know God got us and we know it's always going to be a better day, but that be our therapy. Laughter is good for the soul. It is. In that moment, we forget. That's right. See, see, a lot of people go to church, they understand laughter. The Bible says a merry heart is just like medicine. So merry means happy. If you keep yourself happy, you heal yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, I used to be a preacher back in the day. Talk your talk. I I'm, did, man, but God didn't call me, my ex-wife did. You know, so, uh, <laughs> she said, you can do that. I said, I sure okay. And I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> How many people you had in congregation? About 14, I was preaching to. I was giving it to him, son. He said about 14. About 14, man. Because they used to play with coming up short all the time. All the time. Uh, <laughs> like I told you earlier, the guy that put me in the comedy, he, he wrote my first say. He used to do a joke about a preacher baptized a dude. He dipped him and kept dipping him. He said, do you believe? And, you know, every time he come up, the dude was coughing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, dipping him, do you believe? He could cough. Third time, he said, do you believe? He said, Reb, I believe you're trying to drown the shit out of me. <laughs> 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 you, know, you know, you know, I, I used to hang out with preachers for real. Right. My cousin, old Jack, made a preacher, you know what I'm saying? He used to hang out with this other preacher. I didn't know the preacher carried a, a pistol on his ankle. Yes, sir. So he in the church shouting, you know, I'm holding church. He <laughs> shouting the gun, I fell on the floor. <laughs> and I said, Reb, he looked at me, I said, for this floor. He said, thank you, Jesus. He picked it up. <laughs> <laughs> picked the gun up. And them preachers something else. Yes, they is. You ever seen the cussing preacher? Yeah. Now, yeah, two, that three is Matthew. Yeah, that is. But it's another one now. Gino Jen. Yeah, Gino. Gino is crazy, man. Man, I ain't seen <laughs> Thaddeus in a minute, though. No, nah, I ain't seen him in a while. What about that light-skinned dude? Yeah, I, that's it. The light-skinned dude who be reading out the Bible. Oh, yeah. the skinny one. Yeah, yeah. he like, shut <laughs> up, bitch. You don't just talk about all three of y'all hoes. Now, he say that in church. I love that nigga slow and funny. But he funny. Say, man, it's a funny. And people support that. Yeah. Oh, that, that is a wild boy. That is a wild boy. Yeah. You ever seen uh, Kermit? Is it Kermit talking the one be screaming? Kermit Kermit Thomas or something? Yeah, he but God! Yeah. 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 What he about crazy. the nigga with the uh, spark? The, uh, the, the, uh, what do you miracle call it? Water. The miracle water. Oh, That's you talking about That, that boy look evil. Peter Popoff. He look evil. Yeah. With the prayer cloth. Yeah. Yeah, he got the water, the the the, the water he sent to you. And he yeah. said, yeah. He, the miracle his water. His name is Peter Popoff. But why would they show that on BT at 3 in the morning? Because ain't nobody seeing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing at 3 in the morning? You probably sleep, right? It's supposed to be. I was, but I see that shit. Yeah. <laughs> Peter Popoff. It started coming on he after got, he uncut. He got the monster point in the head. Mm -hmm. And it had extremely black. He died in there every week. They're going to raid this shit and be like, it's not fucking water, it's PCP. <laughs> 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 and them folks be in that line, too. I remember when I got the miracle water and I opened up my mailbox, it was fun. $150,000. I'm like, bitch, I look at you. I paid all my bills and I got money to spar. <laughs> what is spar? <laughs> well, well, we can't walk. Then now you, they walking and shit. I'm running. Yeah. Some African do. preachers funny here, too. Oh, man, they fighting Muslims. But do y'all know, back in the day, when there were Indian days, you know, and, and it, you and any you smoked the peace pipe. Mm -hmm. That's why I smoked now, You know they smoke weed, right? Yeah. Right. That was weed. Right. They, they see crazy shit. Go tell a running bull. You know, they, they always name their kids by what they see when they born. So running bull, they saw a bull. <laughs> <laughs> I made this shit up, but it was good. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm over here like, they do. I'm like, they do do that, don't they? Them Indians, man, them cheap be high. You got to watch what you say. They watch our shit on the reservation. Really? Yeah. Oh, I fuck with them. Well, they like to call themselves skins. Yeah, they well, were trying to give it. They I said, like the I'm approved for my yeah, travel tattoo. Yeah. They didn't want to get that paper. Part. Yeah, they do. Yeah. Yes, sir. I got Cherokee. Approved. Yes, they do. <laughs> my, my travel tattoo. But Cherokee is some East Coast uh, skin tribe. Mm -hmm. It's like the ones that that's lost, and they like, I'm an Indian. They like, well, you ain't really got no paperwork. Mm -hmm. So who are you? Cherokee, that cool. Because when I had to do the movie over there in Montana, yeah. nigga, we had skins in the movie. Oh, shit. And we had like 40 different tribes. You know me, I'm a 
I ask questions. I don't give a fuck. Where God plays my footsteps at, I gotta ask. I gotta. I ain't just gonna look at you and not ask. Like, what that mean, bro? You feel me? Who are you? Where you from? They. I'm talking. About they telling us a majority of them migrated from Canada. Yeah. And they came down. And there's a lot of skins in Canada. Well, but what if they if, came up? But if a lot of people don't understand or look, they look like Mexicans. Yeah, they do. That's because they are. Booyah! <laughs> That's what I want you to know. That's the thing about it, everybody. We're all Mexican. Don't think legit like Mexican, boy. I swear on everything, boy. Aren't yeah. we just Mexicans here? <laughs> just waiting to happen. Mexicans work their ass off. Yes, they do. They'll put a roof on the house in one day. <laughs> And then gonna start on another roof that same day. No cap. And let you know, I got two jobs. Right. At least get it set up for in the morning. They get it set up, bro. You ask one message, he bring back eight. You like, hold up, hold up. Everybody ain't no payroll. No one I got it. You pay me, I pay them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I'm only giving you a hundred. I, I, I don't say that out loud. I said, <laughs> <laughs> How much are you paying? <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's part of the bug. I didn't write that down. Very insensitive <laughs> and racist. Hey, <laughs> the Mexicans a fair rate. The blacks and the Mexicans get along great. They're both good people. They're the best people, aren't they? He said the Mexicans. Don't we like the blacks and the, the Mexicans? Mexicans. <laughs> I learned that shit from Trump. You, we got the best Mexicans, the best blacks. Give it, you heard, give it up for my African Americans. They're the best. <laughs> Look how I'm standing over there. <laughs> oh, you see him. One thing about Trump, like, he funny in a motherfucker. Hey, it's a clip of Trump where he came out and said, you know the blacks built this country? You know that, right? <laughs> yes, you guys built this. Did a fantastic job. <laughs> <laughs> he said that shit? Yeah. Yes. He did. He said, you guys did a fantastic <laughs> job. You did a God fantastic damn. job. You know you built this, right? <laughs> Donald Trump will trip. That motherfucker funny, man. He that nigga really said, the African Americans, score. what do you have to lose? I was like, ooh. Uh, ooh. Hey, bro, but when he said that shit, he knew he was going to win after that. He said, your school, your education, the low, the crime rate is <laughs> African Americans, what do you have to lose? <laughs> Nigga, why God damn, nigga. I see niggas in the crowd like shit. You know, he nigga, nigga got a point. He, he gonna really be pandering to black people. Look at what Joe Biden did. He fucked your bitch. <laughs> and the click you claim. <laughs> <laughs> and listen, America, before I go broke like Jack. I fuck with that dog like Vic. Hey. Not that rock that pit. <laughs> that nigga ain't they have no stats with his shit. He just yeah. say the shit and that be it. They ain't got shit to back it up. The blacks are dying at a record number. <laughs> Nobody wants to say anything. <laughs> they just need to have a fan right there every time he get on the podium. Just need to put a fan right there so that two pages. That'll fuck him up. He got a, he got a shag and a bag. I like how you say some of that. Some of that shit be the truth, and then it be a lie at the end. Yeah, some shit that could never happen. Yeah. you know, dragons are eating people in record numbers. <laughs> people are scared to go swimming. I'm gonna get people back swimming. <laughs> I'm gonna take care of it. <laughs> mm. yeah. The white folk be behind him. Cheese like a ball. Oh, Listen here, Donald it. Trump said they the dragons it. are eating people, and he's gonna do something about it. <laughs> I knew those goddamn Harry Potter movies looked a little bit too real. You know what I mean? It's right there in the movies. Right. Right. It's, right. It's, it's right there in the movies. They put it right there in the movies. They're doing magic and dragons are eating people, but we, we know he's going to take care of it because he said he was. They did. They believe it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Boy, let me tell you something. I remember, we, I don't know where the fuck we was at. Some white woman just got rage out of nowhere. And just got on the phone. I'm literally behind the car waiting on my people to get out the car. So I'm just, I'm minding my business. It's a beautiful day. This bitch got behind her car, was on the phone like, yeah, and, and Donald Trump, he's the best. What Obama do? I said, bitch, fuck you. She said, I'm calling 911. I said, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> and then he said that, bitch, it started with me. That's how it be, though. I got the fuck on, though. I was scared of him. <laughs> I said, get back in the car, y'all don't call him for me. You know, you know, Obama, he's at home chilling, man. He ain't standing that shit. I ain't standing that damn thing. He 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 ain't standing that dam
He's going to be like, why did you tell him I stayed in Athens? 35 <laughs> years in the game. <laughs> he come. Before we get out of here, you got to give us – Give us the secret to staying in the game 35 years. 35. Hey, what the secret is staying consistent, Yeah, staying true to yourself and true to the people. Because mm -hmm. when people love you, they're going to come see you. They're going to come see you every single time. And just keep a level head. Mm -hmm. Don't lose your mind. Fuck y'all. Fuck all y'all. No. <laughs> ain't got time to do that. Just, hey, thank you. Have a great night. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, people going to come see you, man. I have people come see me all the time, man, just from years and years and years and years. And they're going to support you. Just stay consistent, <coughs> stay humble. You're the greatest, man. Yeah. But get that money, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you talking First about. and foremost. foremost. Get well, that you money. know where we at in our new spot. I like it, man. This your first time over here. I like it. Don't let it be your last. It won't be, man. I'm going to come back, man, because I'm going to promote my DVD when I do it, man. I hadn't decided what I'm going to do with that, but I'm going to do more than 30 minutes. Most of these guys are doing 30 minutes. I'm going to give it to them. Come on. I'm going to get to him. I've been Let working hard on the road now, so it's going to be good. Oh, oh shit. That. There you have it, folks. 85 South Show, Bruce Bruce. We out of here. Yeah. Let's take a picture. Let's do it. For the memories. Let's do it. We got to do this one for the well, memories. I got to get my cheers. Hey, what's up, Virginia? July 22nd, I will be in Tyson's Corner. Talk to me. What you got going on on the 22nd? Pull up on me. What's the theater, Craig? Capital One Hall. That's where we're going to be. Make sure you grab those tickets and pull up on me. I've been trying to see you. I know what you said about. Come over there, though. I'm working on something bigger than us. If you didn't go to church today, don't worry. We got you. It's the blessings that's going to come through here, too. <laughs> church ain't number three or more people. Anybody ever been know that? Don't block your blessing in here. It might not be the it might not be your church blessing. It might be like your hood blessing. <laughs> Every here done caught a hood blessing before. Like when you driving home up and you see the police behind you for a little bit. Then they hit the light and just scoot on beside you. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good old blessing right there. Cause at the end of the day, I'm on tour. And I need you to be there so I can tell some jokes to you. I see you when you come see me. I was 21, 20 years old, right? Yeah. So for me, Man. with that kind of money, still living in the projects, we had to figure it out. Right? What's happening, Phoenix? Phoenix! Hey! Where the fuck did all these black people come from in Phoenix? Where y'all been? What's happening? Where y'all been? And I'm not speaking for every man in the, in the... If I make it to be making 200 million, Nigga, I can make 200,000, I feel like I spoke to fuck any bitch I want to. So if Zion, if you want to do that, live your life. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex P. And it's your girl, Drea Nicole. And you are tuned in to another episode Perfect. Show these niggas the trick. Now, they my house. I done took y'all everywhere else. Now, come on over. All them vines and shit. Mold days and shit. Welcome to the pizza ad. What oh, we yeah. got right here? This granddaddy, man. This, come uh, on. This what I got for my 40th. I ain't do nothing to it. Usually, I put 40s on everything I got. Um, I ain't do nothing to this, but put some music in there. You know what I'm saying? Did you do the do on it? Did you yes, do sir. Do? Ooh, you, you was hitting on that joint? Yeah, 100%. Give him a booty eight all that. Yeah. God damn, okay. That's living the life. When you, when you on the, hold on, when you stand on a blow up mattress and you can get a girl lick your ass, eat your ass, yeah. you a bad, you cold blooded. Hey. No, but shit, nigga be broken and big, man, think about it. You ever been so broke, you just feel like you about to pass away sometime soon? <laughs> you be like, I know God ain't got me out here living like this now. <laughs>
a Bay Area native, you understand me? You got this, you got to get this monkey off your back, you understand me? <laughs> if you ain't never broke a female off no chicken. Now, it's nothing that, you know, men should glorify and be proud of, but, you know, it's just culture. 